All right, so let's look at some more examples on synthesis. <clears throat> so this is our normal synthesis here. So the moment you see a normal synthesis, the first thing what I will do is I will split it, okay? So the best way to split it is write down the individual reactions, all right? So I have OH and reacts with HCl, okay? So these two will react first, okay? And then the product of this will react with two, that is NaOH, right? And product of two will react with three, which is H2O and H2SO4. All right. <clears throat> so that's how you split it. Now, the reason we split it this way, because if you look at the individual reaction, then it looks a lot simpler. But if I look at the whole synthesis, then it might be a little bit intimidating. So just to make sure that we kind of break it down, so you can split it this way, and then you work it out, all right? So what kind of reaction is the first reaction, all right? So first reaction, I don't have any leaving group here, all right? So if I don't have a leaving group, then I cannot do elimination, I cannot do substitution, right? OH is not a leaving group. Uh, I don't have a double bond, so I cannot do addition reactions or a triple bond. So the only choice left here is acid base. So acid base will be then, yeah, this is your base and that's your acid because HCl is acid. So there will be an acid base reaction, right? And that will become OH2 plus. So that's your leaving group. So the carbon has a leaving group now. OH2 plus is a leaving group here, all right? So you got your leaving group now, right? A leaving group and then the next step two now, that will react, that's your product, okay? So it will react with number two, that is NaOH, and NaOH just says here it's a base. So the moment I hear term as a base, then it can do two things. It can do acid base or it can do elimination, right? It can do elimination only when if you have a leaving group on the molecule. That's what we have. We have alpha carbon with a leaving group and we have beta carbon. So that's your alpha and beta carbon with at least one hydrogen. So we should be able to do elimination here, all right? So if I do elimination, that's what your product will be, all right? So there'll be a double bond between alpha and beta, all right? So once you got your double bond here, that's your product, okay? <clears throat> elimination product, then that will react with H2O and H2SO4. So now you're starting with a double bond, you're starting with an alkene. So you're doing addition reaction and H2H2SO4 is a hydration reaction. In hydration what happens? You add H and OH across the double bond. So you have two carbons right here, right? Carbon one and carbon two. And those two carbons are not the same. So H will go to carbon two and OH will go to carbon one according to Markovnikov's. So this is your carbon one and carbon two. That should be your product and the reaction, all right? So again here, I don't want you to memorize all these reactions. What you're trying to learn here is the strategy. How do I handle when I have a synthesis? And if you split it like this, then you can divide them into individual reactions. And you can see it's a lot easier this way because we have done all these reactions separately. Now what we're doing is we're combining them into one problem, all right? <clears throat> so let's try a second one here. All right. <clears throat> so you have a carbon with a leaving group, right? The moment I see a carbon with a leaving group, then I have two choices. It can be substitution or elimination. And in this case, I will write down NaOH as a base. So we can limit it to elimination only. Okay? The base will do elimination nucleophile will do substitution, right? So then let's split it. So if I split it here, it will be, that's your reaction number one, that will react with NaOH, right? And whatever product you get, that will react with O3 and DMS, all right? So let's see what's the product of your first reaction, right? So NaOH is a base only, that means you're doing elimination. Right, so you have alpha carbon with a leaving group and you have beta one and beta two. 
Right? So we have two betas here. Right? But in synthesis, we only write major product. Okay? We don't write minor. So since we are using a normal base, this will be your major product. So or you can use this here. Doesn't really matter. So let's say I write a double bond here. So that's your alpha and that's your beta. So alpha and beta. So that's your major product. <clears throat> All right. So that's your product of step one. Right. And that product will react with number two, which is O3 and DMS, and which is osmolysis. So what happens in osmolysis? You break down the double bond right in the middle, okay, and put oxygens on each side. So that should be your product. So I split the double bond right in the middle. That's how it will look like. And you put oxygen on each side. So that's your product. Or you could split it like this. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, and six. So either you can write it like this, or you can write it like this. Either way is fine. <clears throat> All right. Let's do one more example. <clears throat> if you want, you can pause the video here, work it out, and then you can look at the answer. All right. <clears throat> so here, let's split it. So we have a double bond, right? That will react with number one HCl, <clears throat> right? And then product of first will react with potassium terbutoxide, right? And whatever we get, that will react with BH3H2O2 NaOH. All right. So here, <clears throat> so we're adding HCl across double bond, so it is an addition reaction. Right? Because we are starting with a double bond. So these two carbons are not the same. That means H will go here and Cl will go here. So that should be the product of first reaction. Okay, those two carbons right there. <clears throat> All right. Now you are using a base. Potassium terbutoxide, this is a bulky base. Right? So if you say it is a bulky base, then you have to be careful how do you choose your product. So you have alpha carbon and then you have beta 1 and let's say this is your beta 1 and beta 2. So in this case, beta 1 product will be your major product. So that should be your major. So that's your alpha and beta 1. <clears throat> All right. Now we have a double bond and we are doing addition reaction on the double bond. Because anytime you start with a double bond, it's going to be addition reaction. Right? And this is hydroboration. Hydroboration is adding HO and OH, it's same as hydration, but we go anti Marco. Right? So we go anti Markovnikov's here. So according to Markovnikov's, H should go here, OH should go here. Since we are going anti Markovnikov's, that should be a product. So OH will go on this carbon and H will go here. So that should be a product. Remember these two carbons right there, OH goes on let's say carbon 1 and carbon 2. So OH goes on carbon 2 and H goes on carbon 1. All right. <clears throat> so that was a normal synthesis. Maybe let's do a couple of examples of retrosynthesis. So here is an example of retrosynthesis. So retrosynthesis, in this case we are trying to find the reagents. Right? So what will be 1, 2, 3 okay, on the top of the arrow. All right. So the best way to handle it is first see can I get directly from here to here. Okay? Is there any reaction which can take me directly from here to here? And the answer is no. Most of the times you will not have a direct access. All right. but we have other plan then. So what's the best way to do it is take a step back and see if I can find something which is which can be obtained from starting material, right? So what kind of reaction will give you chlorine on the on the molecule? So if you remember, we talked about hydrohalogenation, right? So if you put a hydrohalogenation, right? What we need, I need a double bond here, right? So if I put HCl. Right, H will go on this carbon and 
chlorine go on this carbon, right? So if I add HCl to across a double bond, I can get this product for sure, okay? So going a step backwards, most of the time will take care of the situation, all right? And that's the key. Try to go a step backwards and see what I need. And now think, can I go from here to here directly? All right. So what we have, we have carbon with a leaving group and you have beta carbon. So what's, what reaction is that? Any reaction which gives you a double bond as a product is elimination. Right? So we have alpha carbon and we have beta carbon. Right? But in this case, you have to be careful. You cannot use any base. You, it has to be a normal base like NaOH or or NaNH2, but you cannot use a bulky base here because bulky base will give you the, this product as major. All right. So elimination will give you a double bond at the right place and then adding HCl will get you the required product. Right. So how do you write the synthesis then? That will be number one will be NaOH and number two will be HCl. Okay, so that's the answer. So this is the process. That's how you get to the right answer and that's how you write down at the end, okay? The sequence, what goes first, what goes second, <clears throat> all right? Yeah, so let's try one more, okay? If you wanna give a try by yourself, it's fine. Okay, just pause the video here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> what I got here, I have a carbon with a leaving group, okay? So carbon with a leaving group, that means I'm definitely doing elimination or substitution somewhere. Right? And then I have a carbon right, with an OH. Right? Now, can I get directly from here to here? Right? If I do a substitution, then if I throw NaOH, then OH will go here. I cannot get, make OH to go there. Right? So direct access is not possible. Right? So can I go a step back and see if I can get something close to this? Right? So if I have a double bond here, if I get a double bond, then I can put a place in OH. And how do I place an OH? You get H and OH, that's hydration, right? So if I have H2O and H2SO4, right? Hydration will put H here and OH here, right? Now the question is, can I go from here to here then? Okay. <clears throat> the answer is yes, because I have alpha carbon with the leaving group, beta carbon with the hydrogen. In this case, you can throw any base because you only have one beta here. Right. So you can, let's say, throw NaNH2, right. and then you do the hydration of your double bond to get the product. So H and OH, H will go to this carbon and OH will go to this other carbon. Right. So the answer will be then number one, NaNH2, and number two, H2O, H2SO4. So that's the answer. <coughs> All right, so again, just to summarize what the best way to handle it is go a step backwards, okay, and see what I need going from here to here, all right, and then look forward and see if I can get from there to here. So that way we can actually trying to minimize the number of steps here. Okay, that's what we're doing, right? So going from here to here is not possible. So we're trying to find something on the way if it's possible to get it from the starting material. Okay. Now, if you handle the synthesis this way, you can see it kind of makes perfect sense and it looks a lot easier. The only thing what you really need now is do some more practice. So I will go ahead and post some more practice problem sets for you guys. <clears throat> okay. And I will suppose the answer keys for this. All right. But these are the basics of synthesis and retrosynthesis. All right.